What's up fishing family? Mark Cotton here and today I'm going to show you how I make my own personal groper rigs. These have worked really good for me in the past and I'm hoping that some of you might use them and they'll work really well for you. Let's get into it. You will need heavy trays, 200 to 300 pound, whatever your preferences are, Lumo tube, two times skirts, six times crimps to suit the mono you're using, three times brand swivels, one times heavy swivel, two times half hooker hooks of your choice, split ring, a light, and 60 pound black magic leader, black magic armor spring, crimpers, cutters, lighter, measuring tape. First of all guys, cut a length at 1.9 meters. Next guys, you want to feed one of the crimps through, loop it round and out the bottom and then burn the end. Mushroom it up, pull it down and make a small loop. Then you want to crimp that up nice and snug. From there, feed on your three brand swivels. Personally, I like to use a light when I'm groper fishing, but that is your personal choice. If you don't want to use a light, only use two brand swivels. Feed the next crimp on, then put on your leader protector and your swivel. Then loop over, once again burn the end, make a mushroom and then pull that up nice and tight. Crimp that up. So this is goes to your main line and the far end. This is the bottom end where we're going to put a breakaway sinker on. From the bottom, you want to measure out 50 centimeters and that's where you're going to crimp on your first brand swivel. Okay, from the bottom up to your 50 centimeters to your first brand swivel and then we're going to carry on with the next brand swivel 140 centimeters. Crimp it on there at 140 from the bottom. So that's all crimped on. From there we're going to head up to the top with the last brand swivel. Again this is personal choice. I prefer to use lights. I think they do work. He put the light off the swivel here but I quite like using a brand swivel. So I'll crimp that on near the top. That's the main part of the rig done. So we can put that aside now. Next guys, cut two lengths at 40 centimeters. Two. Then put the crimp on the 40 centimeter traces. Put your hook on. Burn to make a mushroom for added strength. Crimp them up nice and tight. So then what you want to do is cut your Lumo tube at 25 centimeters. Next thing you want to do is grab your skirts and chop off a bit of a hole at the top. Chop them off. You line up through your skirt, down, then get your tube or your Lumo tube and feed that down the line. Then bring your skirt up over. And there you have it. Put the skirt on. to use different colors so I like an orangey or a pinky color and then I like a Lumo color. I'll run the Lumo higher up it'll be the top book and the colored one is generally the lower. Okay next thing you want to do is just crimp on your traces onto the main line. So we've got the top here I'm coming down to the first one which is going to be my Lumo. I'm going to feed that round through there and if, you, if your tube's big enough, you can actually push it and feed it down into the tube. Okay, then crimp that. And that's one done. Down to the next. Then 
then back up to the top and we're gonna split ring the light on to that top brand swivel okay so next what we want to grab is 60 pound I'm gonna use this as my breakaway and I like the black magic tough trace you can use heavy, heavy if you want but personally I like 60 pounds and I'm gonna reel off two meters of that then once I've got two meters all I'm gonna do is do a couple of granny knots pull it up tight chop off the tag ends at the bottom I'm gonna feed that through the bottom the loop and there we have our breakaway because it's two meters long and it's looped it's about a meter I like to set it higher up off the bottom and then all you have to do is loop your hooker sinker on and the 60 will bust before your main line bust. If you haven't seen these guys, the Berkeley Catchmore Fish Pouches are great for your groper room. You can store them all in here, dry, safe, out the way. Okay, fishing family, that's how I make my own personal groper rigs. I hope uh, there's a few tips in there that'll make it easier for you guys making your own rigs. Now also, if you have any comments on how I can improve my rigs, please post below. And if you do in fact like this tutorial video, please subscribe. It uh, helps me know that you do like the videos and I will keep doing them. Once again, uh, fishing family, happy fishing and good luck out there.